Hi everyone, welcome to lesson 9, Visibility. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to hide and show elements on our web page using some new properties. Specifically, we're going to be using the display, opacity, and visibility properties to do this. The first exercise is favorite sea creature. Okay, this web page showcases four different animals. Each animal has a picture and a caption stating a few facts about the animal. Each caption has an ID. Use the caption IDs excuse that, to create CSS rules to hide two of the captions, except the caption for the two animals that you like the best. Use the visibility attribute. Don't just delete the text, use what you know about visibility. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, as you know, I always like to run my code so I can see what's going on. So let's open this up in a new tab. Okay, we got four animals here. Okay, we got a whale a shark, a dolphin, and an octopus. Okay, so we got the four pictures and the four captions, and we wanna hide two captions, basically for animals that we're not too crazy about, right? We're only supposed to leave the animals we really like. So, do, 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 do. okay, so um, you can pick any two animals, okay? I guess on this list, hmm, I really love sea creatures, but I would have to say that my favorite on this list would be the dolphins and the octopus. Okay, look how cute that dolphin is. I mean, how can you not love that? All right, so let's go ahead and, oh my God, is that the Shark Tank shark? <laughs> um, let's go ahead and hide this using the visibility property. Okay, so we're gonna go over to Style CSS and oh, okay, we need to find out what these IDs are, right? We need to examine our HTML. So I'm gonna hide the shark and it looks like it is in a ID a div with the ID of shark dash cap. So I'm assuming that's shark caption. And same thing for the whale, it's whale dash cap. So I'm gonna use these two IDs to hide the captions. Okay, so over in the style CSS, we're gonna hide those two. Okay, so remember the don't repeat yourself principle from lesson seven. Since I'm hiding both of those captions, I'm gonna throw both of these selectors in together. So the shark cap, comma, the whale cap, okay? Same selector, oh, well, different selectors, but they're gonna both grab uh, captions, okay? So since we're doing the same thing to both of these, I'm gonna put it in one rule. So don't repeat yourself principle, less code to manage, makes your code a lot more readable and clean. Okay, so we've never used the visibility property before. Let's see if we can find it in our docs so we can go ahead and find out what properties it will allow us to use. So, I don't see anything for display here. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume there are no docs for this, but you should have seen this in the video for this lesson, the intro video. So we're gonna just go ahead and apply what we saw there. Okay, so for visibility, the value should be hidden. Okay, so if we run our code or save it rather and then refresh, we should see that those two captions are now hidden and we can only see the captions for the two animals that we really like, okay? So again, for you, it might be the same, might be different, okay? The goal is just to hide two captions and leave two visible. All right, nice work on our first visibility exercise. If you have any questions, please leave it in a comment below. Nice job.